Hi YouTube and welcome back to another um, tutorial on WinCC uh, part 17. Um, what we're going to look at today is faceplates. Faceplates can be quite useful for uh, creating uh, various things. Um, today I'm going to make this a two part series uh, because I'm just going to show you the basic faceplate and I'm going to create um, using the faceplate kind of a, an information um, uh, button and um, our later videos will look at uh, creating something like a message box um, it'll all become relevant when we start looking at, um, at the scripts uh, that you can add to this uh, but for the time being let's make a, a basic faceplate um, and what we're going to do is create a, an information so we'll start by putting a, a button on the screen and uh, we'll just pull the properties up here a little bit and we'll just type in info okay and we'll do the same there as well for it being off okay so this is going to be an info button now what we're going to do is we're going to press this button and a little face place is going to pop up give us the information that we want and then we can exit the face plate without actually changing screens okay so Select your button that you've got, right click it, and select create faceplate. It updates and we get this other screen saying faceplate. Now I've created a couple of other faceplates, so it's taking the next value. I've already got faceplate underscore one and two. This is now faceplate underscore three. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to, first of all, we're going to create a tag okay um, and what we need to do is to oops select that and we are going to create uh, an event so on click we are going to set a bit and I'm going to use an existing tag that I've got here or I should have oh no let's create a new one let's call it uh, tag 11 uh, we've done this before in previous videos. We don't have to take care of anything else. We just have to give it a tag and make sure that it's a Boolean tag. We click OK and now we've got a bit or a tag that we've set when that button is being pressed. OK, so let's make this uh, nice. Let's put a little rectangle here. And you'll notice that it's now covered that button. What I'm just going to do is order that backwards okay and then I can just position my my little rectangle at the back there okay on this rectangle I am going to add a little text field okay so we add our text field and we'll put in there hello YouTube welcome to my faceplate okay let's make that nice and put a capital in there okay so we've now got our faceplate uh, or at least our message this could be information of any type it could be a help file you know it could be something like that now we'll need to be able to exit out of this faceplate so I'm going to put another button on the bottom here and I'm just going to set the text up for exit again you could put graphics on these we've done that in other videos you can select your graphics um, and put a graphic on it for the moment I'm just going to make it uh, text because it's quick and easy now the important thing is now that we have got our info button on our main screen and of course everything is showing here okay well if we run that now um, and we just go into the runtime you'll see that everything's showing there and nothing's doing a great deal okay so what we're going to do is we've already created that when that button when my runtime terminates I'll go that that button um, on the faceplate already sets up um, a bit and it sends that uh, bit high so what we're going to do is say we're going to first select the uh, rectangle. We're going to do uh, animations, visibility, click the enabled, click 
click it visible when tag 11 is true make sure that we set the bit so that it gets rid of all of these things and we are going to repeat the same thing for every point on that faceplate okay including the button oops tag 11 there we go visible on the bit okay so now only when we hit that button on the screen and that bit goes high do we show these other objects on the screen so let's try and make sure that that works correctly okay you'll notice now that everything else has disappeared except our button when we click the info button the faceplate appears and it gives us our message and our button and our rectangle now we haven't set the exit button to do anything so now it's just as simple as once this is terminated again come on quickly when we select our exit button under the events we want to say when that is clicked we need to reset that tag that we had so reset our tag 11 and now when we run that we should be able to see that we get our info button we click it our faceplate appears hello YouTube welcome to my faceplate and when we exit it it disappears that is how to make a simple faceplate and if you've got um, a screen like this you could create that little info button um, at the bottom of your screen for example and uh, when somebody hits it you could describe here what that screen is about so if somebody's not quite sure so it's a little help file you could use um, uh, for the operators of your equipment handy little thing it can do more than that but that is the basics of a faceplate for now um, you will see sometimes when you create your faceplate um, I will just try and pin this up um, that you have this faceplate configuration we've configured our tag as you can see it uh, popped in when we uh, created that tag 11 um, but we'll go through this faceplate um, properties and events and everything else um, deeper um, on another video but for now if you just get that just click that and minimize it out of the way and then you can do your basic work there.